Hey guys, Chris from Lightning Back, and as promised, after I got done with my Decade video, that I told you that the next SH figure art style I would be getting that is Common Rider in general is double. And here he is. The half boiled detective with the partner that has the entire earth inside his head. Yeah, um, this is double from Common Rider Double series, but it's also not. Mainly because this is the Sincho Koseho of Futo P.I.'s Kamen Rider Double. Which I'm a little bit excited. I've Double was my second rider that I was introduced to. Well, technically Kuga was since he was the true second rider of Decay. Secondary rider, sorry. More so than the end was, but still, I mean... This guy was my true second rider, my second ever common rider series I ever got into. Which I actually liked how they did double, especially in the two part episode series, because it was almost like continuing on a detective novel once you put it down and then got it back up. But I'm not here to review the show, I'm here to review this figure. And it is amazing! Sorry, I had to do that, mainly because I'm excited about this figure and all the of the stuff that he comes with. This is Cyclone Joker form, so he doesn't come with like the metal rod or the the trigger blaster, but this is just still good enough if you want to do some poses, however you want to do, and depending on which form you want to deal with. Now, let's get into articulation and also paint apps. Now, in terms of, well, I'm starting with paint apps first because I'll be honest, that is where my go-to is usually is with this video. Move the camera to the side here, and then, yeah, as you see, the green side is actually pretty well done, and it actually looks pretty good, especially since it doesn't even lose any of the lines like the actual show did, and also like the actual anime did. Now, we go on to Joker side. Yeah, and you can actually see that the lines are on Joker on the chest piece, the wrist cuffs, and the ankle cuff is actually very prominent. Like seriously, like let me move this guy up. You can even see the details there. Move back on a chest piece and the ankle. Once my camera decides to focus. There. And same can be said for the cyclone side. You got a little bit of what I like to think are vents. On the chest piece, the actual ankle, not the ankle, the wrist piece, and the uh, actual ankle part. I mean, this is just amazing, and all that stuff now going up to the helmet. Now, let me get an actual, let me use parts of this, and then I'll get you up to the helmet so that we can take a better look at that. Now, here we are. The double symbol of the antennas are actually, they look pretty good, and... And like I said, barely anything is actually lost in terms of helmet design and sculpting. I mean, you can even see the lines on Cyclone and even on Joker, which I thought was cool. And how they did the actual symmetry line, it was pretty well dang good. Um, and the I always loved the, the crimson eyes on it, and I also loved where... Um, in the show, and even in the anime, where Philip talked, this eye always glowed. Unless he was, like, thing Joker, then it was always showed her outside. And, yeah, uh, good silver skull. Uh, be careful with these. These are very... These are, like in the extraction say, they are fragile. So, yeah, be careful. And the diamond up here is actually pretty good, and, yeah. Now, all of you might see the actual scarf piece. This is an actual accessory. It does not come on with the figure. So, yeah, you could just pull it out. Bam. You just have a weird hole thing, but... Which is why I like to keep it there and then just have the scarf or the muffler or whatever you want to call it flow a little bit. It doesn't sit completely flush, but still, it's better than nothing. Okay, now we... And to articulation. Double can look this far up, this far down. 
you can also look side to side and lean side to side. So you can get a lot of expression with double, which is actually what I like so much about this figure. It makes me want to redo some shots of the show. And anyway, articulation is going to be on the same on both sides, but it is a Sanchoko Seo, so it can like do full body proportions. So it could go this, the arms can go this far up. And yeah, sometimes the actual shoulder pieces can get in the way, but still it is extremely awesome. Yeah, see? That far up. And do do do. Do do do. The he this is the app crunch forward. And then he can lean back only somewhat. Oh, forgot to say, the double driver looks amazing. I also liked how they did the Cyclone and Joker effects to it. And even though we don't have any guiding memories in there, for a very good reason, still, it's awesome. And then, we go that far forward kicking, this far back, double jointed, arms are also double jointed, ball joint for hands, and then, yeah. And it could go that far forward, and then, boop, toe pivot, a little bit, oh yeah, toe articulation, ankle swivel, and then, yeah, ankle pivot. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Now, let's go on to the actual accessories that Double comes with. And for accessories, since it is the Futo Tenante, or Futo P.I., version of Kamen Rider Double, you get this cool stand, which has both Cyclone and Joker on the actual base, along with the Fut and then Fudo P.I. in Kanji and in English. And now to the actual accessories that this guy comes with, which is so amazing. I'm pretty sure I have the, I was doing poses with these guys, and I'm pretty sure that, yeah, it has to go like that, and anyway. Uh, you get two hands for holding the guy in memory. Yeah, two hands to hold the, oh, come on, phone, work with me. Two hands to hold the guy in memory. Two, uh, count of your sin hands, or, sa, ure no tsumi wo, kazare wo. And, uh, two fists, why I took them off when I put on the actual relaxed hands that this is supposed to come with. And with these hands, I always found them a little bit nostalgic, mainly because I've seen other videos, and I'm pretty sure that these are the hands that are supposed to grab onto Skull's hat. And for those who do not know who Skull is, he was the common writer that predated Double and actually was Shotaro's mentor. And also some holding hands for the hard boiler, or you can actually hold it with Decade's sword. I've done a lot of testing on this, trust me. And then for the added effect, you get two guy memories, both Cyclone and Joker. Both of these look amazing, and I will put put them in. Probably at the end of the video where I do size comparisons, but yeah, and I will show you how to insert them into the driver just right now as I do not want to lose them. And you actually get a special cape that you can articulate. Again, did photos, so I did testing where it would actually flow in the wind like in the anime or the show. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll show you how to insert the guy in memories, and then we will be right back. Alright. We're back here with Double, and we're going to and I'm going to show you how to insert the guy in memories into the Double Driver. So let's put this guy up to on that. Uh, come on, do not pull a trigger on me, okay? Alright. Yeah, okay. You take... One of the guy memories, which I am holding right now, actually might be better with taking out the muffler. For this in particular thing, at least. 
you take the guy in memory, and then you just okay, better to do it at an angle, put it into the slot. Bam. And basically you do the same thing with the cyclone memory. And they also fit into the maximum drive slot, but I'm not going to do that because the guy is usually hard as heck to, oh, get out. But still, I mean, even though some of the guy memories can be tricky to get in there, you can, theoretically, if you have the other forms of double, which I wish they would do more so that it can actually, yep, bam. And now you, and as you can see, the memories are actually in there, and now you have Cyclone and Joker. Yeah. Then you then you put the muffler back on to complete the look. Make sure you don't tilt this figure at all, or else the guy memories will fall out. Yeah. Bam. He looks good. He looks amazing. And I'm. Got some other Legos out there, so yeah. Now, it, I think it will probably be time right now for size comparisons. After I get double up into a cool pose. There we go. We got double standing up straight in a cool pose of his usual stance. So now we are going to get into size comparisons. And, yep, I got a few of these here. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Here he is standing next to his predecessor. Common Rider Decade, which they uh, decade mainly because of a suit. It's he I think he may be a little bit taller. Let me get him. Yeah. That was my fault. Not the not the figure's fault this time. Okay. Uh, the... Ooh, actually, thankfully, the guy in memory, even though it is extremely loose in the driver, it did not get out to the point where I had to sit through with my Legos. Yeah. Yeah, Decade is a little bit taller. Not by much, but still. And here he is. And here he is next to my, mainly my other newest SH figure that I just recently got. Might do a review for later, but we'll see. And with the first, with the last writer of the Heisei series, the first writer of the Neo Heisei series, might as well get him next to the first writer of the Heisei series. And Decay's true secondary rider. Which is Kuga! I hate you. But still, it's Kuga. And yeah, almost all of these are standing around the same high, but not by much. I mean, it's supposed to not be the same eye, but it, yeah. Mainly because people are different sizes, different strengths, and all that stuff, but not necessarily the same size. And that always gets to like, differences in body weight and all that other stuff. But yeah, overall, these are these guys look great together. Even though I'm definitely putting the Decade Driver on Double and Kuga after this. And I'll actually, I'll probably show you what De Double will look like with the Neo Decade Driver. So yeah, uh, hang on real quick. Some Someone's calling. I am sorry guys, but why are there still telemarketers these days? Anyways, uh, yeah, and that's all that. But let me do some stuff that's outside of Kamen Rider. I still need, I'm still waiting on the Sechiko Seiho of Gokai Red to actually come out. And then, so therefore, I can actually have a Gokai Red figure versus a Decay figure. And then hopefully we get some Choco Seiho versions of other Red Rangers. Anyway, I might be broke after, after all the purchasing. Anyway, here he is next to a sort of 
fighting armor, not exactly fighting armor. This is the SH Figars tech on Captain America. And as you can tell, he towers over, over double, mainly because this is supposed to be Captain America in a suit of armor. I mean, Captain America is supposed to be towering over everyone since he is a super soldier. And then, yep. Yeah. Get him out there. And then here he is next to Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Yay. And I mean, the friendly neighborhood Spider Man, he works well. He works well with the scaling. They're almost the same height. I mean, they look good enough. And, yeah. And then here is him with a Mezco X-Force Wolverine. Mezco is going to still be taller than SH Figure Arts. That's nothing to be ashamed of. And I'm not bringing in a SH Monster Arts figure. It's mainly because, A, Double does not grow to Ultraman size to fight giant monsters. Yeah. Anyway, as promised, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the Deca Driver in case you want to get your Neo Dickhead on with Kamen Rider Double. And here we are. Double with the Dickhead Driver, and he actually looks amazing. Like, this is actually one of the few times where I was like, well, I think that Dickhead has a, has, now for me has a new favorite form, even though it was never in. Geo show, but I think it should have, so that we can have another form fight. So, yeah, I mean, and also, like I said, he can hold actual weapons. Where did my decade box go? Hang on. I, I need to organize a lot of this stuff so that when I... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I apologize. But, yeah, and I'm going to put... Yeah, I had to take the muffler off for that part, but, yeah. I'm putting it back on to complete the look. And, yeah, so looks good. And I'll show you what I mean by he can actually hold weapons. Okay, this is a normal hand for double, for gripping and riding the bike and all that stuff for the hard boiler and this is double holding decayed sword which is amazing now I will replace the hand And make sure that it is secure before showing you guys. Because it's not it's more embarrassing to actually have something that worked and then it basically well falls off more than anything else. And now bam. Decade and doubles form holding an actual weapon. It's just amazing. So, yeah, I thought I would end on that note and then basically upload this for YouTube. And then hopefully you guys like it. And, yeah, this is Christmas Lighting, Wishing for Lighting. To protect you guys, see you around.